Hello. Good morning. This was a very sporadic, spur of the moment live stream. Um, going to be uh, setting up to film for the Innova RTA soon, as well as the Tech Division side by side. <clears throat> um, right now, I'm re wicking my midge. Um, I was gonna re wick the Apple RDA as well, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna put an RDA to use right this second. Um, I am putting a battery in the Stratum with the Innova on top. So we got the seven mil Innova. We got the extension tank on the Innova. Aftermarket VWM tip on there. Straight them, 18650. And this tank is definitely a little for this little mod. Um, this little mod like looks much better with a, so here's an Imperia in five ML mode. This, this mod looks much better with like a five mil in VWM tank, you can see how much better that looks. So there's the five mil Imperia. So, uh, let me see his chat one. Uh, let me get all my shit there first. Let me get the chat up. Check my microphone. Uh, I really hope. This is working through my mic. Does that sound loud when I talk right into Hopefully it does. If it's pulling my audio through my phone. All right. Billy, what's up? DK, hello. Lee, hello. Juan, hello. My mic sounds off. It sounds loud when I talk into it? Okay, good. Matthew, what's going on, man? All right. So I just wanted to uh, come in and bullshit, talk about what we got coming down the pipeline as far as videos go. Been using the Innova RTA nonstop new VWM tank. Also, really quickly. So as far as VWM goes with the last few RTAs, this is the Integra right here. The Integra is in 7 ml form with the extension, or 6 ml, it only holds 6 ml with the extension tank here. This is a stock height VWM Imperia. This is in 5 ml mode. And then this is the Innova, and it was in 7.2 ml mode right now. So we have the evolution of the last three RTAs from VWM here, Integra, Imperia, Innova. And the Innova is basically a mashup of the Integra and the Imperia. So in my review, I will be showing all three of these tanks together. We're gonna show what parts from which tanks were put into the new one. Um, and as you can see right off the bat, here's the airflow on the Integra. Boom, boom. You can see the airflow on the Innova. So the airflow is the same. But yeah, in the review, we're gonna break down the tanks. Uh, we're gonna show you the similarities of each one. Um, we are also going to show you, because the Innova is backwards compatible <clears throat> with the Imperia accessories, tank accessories. It uses the same chimneys. Um, so we're going to show you how you can use your Imperia accessories on the new RTA. Um, and 
yeah, all that good stuff. Uh, right now, I'm re-wicking the midge, and got the three millimeter pin in the midge here. And I love this RBA with the three millimeter pin. Um, I was, it comes with a 1.5, 2.5, 3.5, and 4 millimeter pin. Um, in my opinion, the three millimeter pin, which you can now purchase in an extra pin package, you can buy an extra pin package. I think it's a 1, 1 1.2, 2, and 3. Um, if you're an RDL Vapor and you like 3 m three millimeter uh, airflow, I would suggest getting the extra pin kit because that 3 millimeter pin is the best in it for me. Oh yeah, can't forget about this. So also coming, I haven't started testing it yet, but it just, it is here officially. Uh, this is the OneGen Boro Mod. And you can see, um, man, that light is not good for this angle at all. You can see this one's got their normal, like, pattern on it. It's a Delrin mod. Open battery. Carbon fiber face plate. Carbon fiber bottom plate carbon fiber top plate DNA 75C DNA 75C and it has this little threading thing here at the top so you can unthread and thread down uh, the space to hold your battery in. So I do really, really like the contact. And you can see the bottom is shaped like a plus symbol. Your bottom contact is actually a positive symbol. It's a pretty cool mod. The problem I have with it is the Boro is just stuck in the middle of the mod there. Um, it does come with a Boro. You can see their, their basic Boro here. Um, and you do install it backwards. So the glass faces the back of the mod. And to fill it, you either have to unthread your tip and pull the boro out to fill it. Or you have to take your battery out. And then they have this little access window here. You can see the glass right through there. And they kind of expect you to fill through there. Um, I'm definitely not going to do that. I'm just going to pull my tip and take the boro out because it seems like a real pain in the ass to try to fill through that hole there. I haven't even had my morning coffee yet. Oh, Steve, I'm really sorry, man. I'm sorry to hear about that. I hope you're doing all right, dude. It's terrible. Yeah, Matthew, I agree. Hello, I can't read your name. I'm sorry. I, I don't know how to read the symbols in your name i apologize steve get a hold of me man all right so on top of uh the innova rta video coming um we have the tech division side by side video coming um we also, you know, a, a few weeks down the road, the one gen video will be coming. Also, I do have a steam shell here. Um, 
The problem I have with the Steam Shell, and I, I, I do plan to come back to it and try it again, but um, I, I tried to wick it like three or four times, and every single time within like five or six hits, I kept getting these nasty freaking dry hits. And I was wicking the thing so light. So um, I can tell it's got very smooth draw, and I think it's going to have good flavor. Um, I just got to figure out why it's dry hitting so hard on me. Is that Dustin Kendall in the chat? Under Jamie Kendall? What's up, Dustin? Or Jamie, whoever. Hi, Dustin. All right, I gotta grab some juice. We're going to go with some JMA Strawberry Crunch. I have 10 bottles of this on the way. I know it looks like I just woke up, but I literally did. Woke up, worked like 7 a.m. to 9.30 p.m. yesterday. I got a few maintenance things to do on one of my mowers today. Um, I got to bring my truck to the dump and then I'm working at my side job from 4 p.m. to 5 p.m. So it's 4 p.m. to 5 p.m. 4 p.m. to 9.30 p.m. Sorry. God, this guy keeps blowing me up on Marketplace. After I told him I wasn't going to take his offer. Man, this strawberry crunch smells so good. I can't read that fucking comment that was held for review. It's not letting me read it. Tone, hello? Uh, the crunch, the crunch takes the top spot over the cheesecake for me. To be honest, I can't, I can't even use the cheesecake right now. Um, I vaped like 15 bottles in a matter of like, I don't know, fit, six weeks or so. And, um, I just can't use it right now. It's, I, I just overwhelm myself with it. Um, the strawberry, I like the strawberry ice cream more. And... I think I like the crunch more than the strawberry ice cream, too. All right, where is my midge top cap? I just wiped it down. Oh, stuck in the borrow. my um unknown bmm collab that i've been talking about for months now it seems like charles is finally um at that point where he's about to start producing those so um i think towards the end of the month he's gonna start making them um so i should should have my uh, unknown slash BMM collab shortly, in a month or so, give or take. 
putting the chimney on the midge right now. For some reason, when I'm streaming directly from YouTube, it's not like StreamYards where the chat just stays up. If I don't read it fast enough, it goes away, and then I gotta manually pull it back up. What's the thumbnail? Straight on V9? Um, what is this model called? It's the... I thought it was the V7 something. I always forget the fucking Stratum names. They're so complicated. I think it's the... It's like this. I thought it was the one with the number 7 in it. It's got like the screen... The screen button. So this whole piece that's the screen is also the button. And it's an 18650. And it looks ridiculous with the 7 mil Innova on it. But, um... I just got it in, so I wanted to use it. Uh, the Innova, I've been using it wide open. I, uh, like I said, I'll be filming the video for it this weekend. It'll be up by Monday. Uh, been using it wide open. And at first, I was shutting down one or two of the holes. Um, but I've been forcing myself to run it wide open because I remembered with the Integra when I forced myself to run it wide open and just got used to the airflow, um, I ended up liking it the most wide open. And that's how Costas does his stuff, really. Um, I feel like this was designed to be used wide open. Um, I feel like when you try to do MTL with this, it's not as good as it is in RDL because Costas is an RDL vapor, so... You know, that's what he makes. Okay, let's finish up this midge. And um, we did the live stream on the Sons of Sloth liquid last week. I've been using the melon milk flavor since that live stream ended. Um, in the Innova, I'm using melon milk and I've gone through like half the bottle. It's hard to see, but it's like down to here. It is right there. It's hard to see, but I've used about half of it. I don't even, all I really do is desserts. Um, so to be using something like that nonstop really says a lot about how it is. I need to check how many hits are on my 38 because... Um, I bet I got a lot of hits on my 38 at this point. All right, the midge is back in the boro. Screw the tip back down. Got a bunch of new batteries the other day. 10 new 21700s and 10 new 18650s. I'm charging them up right now. Uh, speaking of that, anybody that has a, a Gray Falcon 8-Bay charger, I've had this charger for probably three years now, and it's definitely the best charger I've ever owned. I love it. Fuck, that midge is so good. Uh, 38 special midge with the clear barrel and a sleigh tip with the purple titanium ring and the P clear PC whistle tip on top. Okay, so Dustin, you have one. Um, I have the 8 bay and I usually set my batteries to be charged at 0.25 amps. I like to slow charge them. Um, and it can charge 0.1 amp, 0.25 amp, half an amp, and one amp. Well, the first like two years that I had this charger, I had it set at 0.25 amps because, um, 
you know, I'm not in a huge rush to get them charged. And, you know, I got tons of batteries, so it's not like I need the next battery to be ready, like, in two, three hours. Like, it can charge for eight hours. It doesn't matter how long it takes. So I like to slow charge them to try to, uh, you know, make the batteries last longer. So I normally charge at 0.25 of an amp. Well, when I moved, didn't even think about it, plugged my charger in at this new house and automatically resets at one amp charging. Now, I've been charging my batteries at this for the last couple months and, you know, it's not going to really hurt them. It, it, I guess if you charge them at one amp through the whole life of this battery cycle, um, it'll, you know, probably take a few months off the life of the cell overall probably maybe not but i like to think that slow charging it will make them last longer but anyways it was at one amp charging on all eight bays so because you can individually set it to do like one amp on one bay 0.25 amps on one bay 0.1 on another bay so it was at one amp charging on all bays i put because i got these new batteries in i put all eight i loaded it up with eight 21 700s and it was set at one amp accidentally. I come back in like three, four hours later, and the battery is like blinking. Like it's it's powering up and charging for like two seconds, and then it's shutting off. And then two, three seconds later, it turns back on, starts charging for two, three seconds, and then it shuts off. And it just kept doing that and doing that. And I was like, fuck, did my charger shit the bed? Like, God damn it. So I was about to order a new one because... I love the thing. Well, I pulled one of the batteries out and all of a sudden it stopped shutting off. It just was started charging the other seven at one amp. No problem. And that's when I realized all these are set at one amp. And I was like, huh, I wonder if this has a amperage output and it's eight amps because it's eight bays at one amp. Eight amps is too much amperage output for the whole charger. So I set them all at 0.25 amps, and then I put the eighth battery back in it. Now it charged all eight of them, no problem. So I'm just wondering if anybody's ever noticed with their Gray Falcon set at one amp charging on all eight bays, if they fill it up with eight dead batteries, does it charge them all at one amp, or does it start to does it cut out, and is it too much for the bat for for the charger? And also, what do you guys do with your batteries? After, like, I'm about to get rid of, like, 20 batteries. I ordered 20 new ones. What I'll do is I'll charge them all, all 20 of them, I'll charge them. And then I'll take five of the 18650s and five of the 21700s, and I'll put them away for, like, a year and keep them fully charged. And then in a year, I'll get rid of the 10 that I just used and then cycle in the next new 10 ones every 12 to 14 months. So I got like, actually, I got another stack of batteries over there that are all taped up in hard shell plastic cases. I got like two stacks of 10 of these with batteries in them all taped up together and sealed because they're old batteries that I'm not using anymore. Where the hell can I bring them? Mine charges all eight at the same time, but you usually drops to 0.5 automatically. Okay. Yeah, see, mine was at one amp, and it wasn't changing down to 0.5. I set mine down to 0.25, and now it's automatically charging all eight with no problem. Oh, one. Damn, that sounds smooth. Talking about the midge, I think. Yeah, this is the midge with the three millimeter pin. Crazy smooth and crazy good flavor and here's the Innova wide open
Innova is a little bit smoother than the Midge, and that's because it's an RTA. Um, there's no air to pass through a Boro and then through a pin and then up. Um, it's coming directly in from the side. There's no obstructions of the air. It's just coming directly in. So the Innova is a little bit smoother than the Midge because it's an RTA. Um, but the new unknown RTA, uh, the Enigma, which I do have one that will be here soon. Um, I do, I, I probably expect the Enigma to have smoother airflow than the Midge as well because it's an RTA. But as far as bridges go, the Midge is probably the one of the smoothest draw bridges out there. I didn't even drink my coffee yet this morning. All right. So, yeah, aside from, uh, oh, yeah, what'd you guys say? Best Buy, battery shops and tech places should have battery disposal bins that recycle them and disposable other bits safely. See, the problem I have is I don't really have any battery shops or tech places around, except for um, Best Buy, which is like probably 30 minutes away. Yeah, I guess I'll bring them to Best Buy. Yeah, so basically that's all I got for you guys. Just want to do a quick live. Um, we do have the Innova review coming, which I will compare the Integra, Imperia, and Innova all in that one video. Um, also, the Steam Shell will be coming down the pipeline. T uh, Tech Division side by side, this one here will be coming right after the Innova. Um, and. I showed the one Jin Boro mod. I got that. I'll, I'll begin testing on that in the next few days. So these items are what's coming next. Um, what am I forgetting? I think I think that's it. Um, what's up, Brian? Where did you get the VWM drip tip? Just got my Innova today. Um, I got the VWM drip tip from VWM. <laughs> um, about a year, maybe two years ago, Kosas did a whole list full of different drip tips. And this here is just a riser with a black Imperia drip tip in the riser. And I got a couple other ones um, from the tip drop as well. Um, yeah i don't know if he'll ever do a drip tip drop again he did that during like the whole boro thing i think it was before he came out with a dope rba all right so that's pretty much all i got for you guys there will be some new reviews and of a review tech division review coming to the channel um So we will see you guys on these next reviews, and I'll probably be live next weekend. Everybody have a great rest of your weekend.